In Nichols v. Universal Pictures Corporation, Judge Learned Hand used two dramas featuring Jewish and Irish family conflict to explore the boundary between unprotected ideas and protected expression. In 1922, Anne Nichols wrote a play called Abe's Irish Rose, featuring a prosperous and devout Jewish widower who wanted his son to marry an Orthodox Jewish woman. The son had already secretly married an Irish Catholic woman. Conflict arose when her devoutly Catholic father encountered the Jewish father and the two discovered that their children were married. The conflict was resolved a year later when the fathers met their twin grandchildren. This play enjoyed amazing success on Broadway and radio broadcasts. In 1926, Universal Pictures produced a movie, The Coens and the Kellys, in which an Irish and a Jewish family lived side by side in a state of perpetual enmity. Even their dogs hated each other. The Jewish daughter and the Irish son secretly married. The Jewish father inherited a fortune and moved his family into a large, luxurious house. After much conflict involving birth of a grandchild and a dishonest lawyer, the Jewish father discovered that the house actually belonged to the Irish family. He surrendered the house to the Irish father, who agreed to share it with him. Nichols sued Universal for copyright infringement. She presented an analysis of both plays, showing a quadrangle of common characters and the emotions produced as a result of plot events. The district court found for Universal. Nichols appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit.